Hey, in this video we're looking at converting mixed numbers and improper fractions. Um, we're going to apply conversions to represent fractions in both forms today. So it might help to draw a diagram and then implement your strategies for conversions. So just a reminder, a mixed number is a number that contains both a whole number and a fraction. So it would be something like along the lines of I had one and a quarter pizza the other night or an improper fraction, which is going to be um, where the numerator is larger than the denominator. So that means I had five quarter pieces of pizza last night. Okay, so um, we are looking at converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. Now I find this the easier way, um, or the easier conversion. It's the other one that's a little bit trickier. Okay, so um, write two and one third as an improper fraction. Now I started with a nice diagram here. And what we're going to do is that you could, once you've got your diagram, you can just count up your pieces. So how many thirds do you have? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means that I've got seven thirds in total. Now, and with this one here, two and three quarters, instead of having to draw a diagram, because eventually you could get something like 10 and two fifths, you're not going to draw 10 circles plus two extra fifths to go along with it. We can actually do some mathematical um, strategies here to help us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to write two and three quarters here. And... What you need to remember is this is a whole number. So it's saying like how many whole in your whole it's being divided into four pieces. That's what a fraction represents. So if you've got two pizzas or two shapes that are divided into four, that means it's going to be eight, two times four pieces. So that's eight pieces. And then you're going to plus the numerator because that's how many non-whole parts you have. So four times that can be written as 2 times 4 plus 3 over 4. 8 plus 3 gives us 11 quarters. So if I use my calculator here, okay, um, we can also check using our calculator. So I've got uh, shift brackets. I have 2 and three quarters I hit enter it also gives me automatically as 11 fourths um, if I ever want to go back the other way I hit shift and also that SD button and it'll bring me back to two and three quarters okay so that's that one there um, next one I'd like you to pause and have a go of converting a couple of these mixed numbers to improper fractions okay so in the next part here, we're looking at converting the improper fraction to a mixed number. Now this part here can be a little bit trickier, but if you remember at the end of the day, you are dividing and what you've got left over is going to be your um, numerator. So if we're going to do number one first, I've got five quarters. Now, if I drew that as a picture, that's one hole there, and there's one quarter. But I'm not going to always be able to draw a picture. So what I can do is I am going to go 5 divided by 4 equals 1, and there is one remainder, a remainder of 1. So that means that there is one hole. and one quarter left over so that's one and one quarter with the second one that's 13 over 5 now i'm going to go 13 divided by 5 equals 2 and 10 so that means 10 and it means i have three remainder so that's two whole and three uh, fifths so therefore my number is going to be two and three fifths. Alright, so in now what I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go of converting these improper fractions as mixed numbers. Okay, cool guys, thanks, bye.